agricultural industry is one of the most important sectors of the global economy because it not only generates some of the greatest incomes globally, but also meets the world's food needs. A country with a strong foundation in agriculture output can enable more stable economic development because it is one of the main industries that is rarely harmed by fluctuating demands. Thus, it can be concluded that a nation that depends on its agricultural output for revenue creation is laying the foundation for a healthy economy. The global economy is inextricably linked to agriculture, which is essential to the livelihoods of many people in developing nations. Agriculture is typically the largest contributor to GDP for most states, particularly in the African context. The fact that so much of Africa is undeveloped demonstrates how much potential there is on the continent. Many people are aware of Africa's abundant resources and expect it to be the next big thing in terms of wealth generation across practically all industries. A huge workforce, a large amount of fertile land, and optimal conditions that might allow year-round production make Africa the ideal region to begin your agricultural investment activities to realize significant returns. In the absence of official records that classify agricultural states in terms of their agricultural muscles, here are our top 10 leading African countries in the agricultural sector for 2022. We have taken time to compile this list to help you understand the agricultural potential of Africa and for you to know where and in which product to invest. Let's start. 10. Cameroon According to the World Bank, Cameroon's agricultural sector alone is responsible for almost 61% of the country's GDP. After gaining independence, Cameroon's economy was among the most thriving in all of Africa for 25 years. Cameroon nevertheless has one of the best endowed primary commodity economies in sub-Saharan Africa as a result of its advantageous agricultural environment. Cameroon is by far the world's largest producer of plantains. In addition, as of 2018, Cameroon was the world's third largest producer of taro, behind only Nigeria and China fifth largest producer of cocoa behind the Ivory Coast, Ghana, Indonesia, and Nigeria, and the seventh largest producer of palm oil and yam. Like many other African countries, Cameroonian agricultural productivity has been dented by political instability and currency devaluation. Nevertheless, the fight back is on from the country fondly regarded as Africa in miniature. Investor tip, plantain, cassava, and palm oil. 9. Ivory Coast Considered by many as one of the fastest-growing economies in Africa, Ivory Coast is now the hotspot for most investors. The economy of the Ivory Coast is stable and currently growing, in the aftermath of political instability in recent decades. The Ivory Coast's economy is largely market-based and depends heavily on the agricultural sector. Almost 70% of the Ivorian people are engaged in some form of agricultural activity. The statistics back this suggestion and go ahead to portray Ivory Coast as a business gateway with a wealth of rewarding opportunities for the brave. As of May 2022, Ivory Coast is the world's number one producer worldwide of cocoa, cashew, and cola nut. As a matter of fact, data from the African Development Bank suggests that the Ivorian GDP, which is about $70.1 billion, could grow by an interesting 6.5% in 2022. Don't look far. Agriculture is one of the principal sectors fostering this growth. Investor tip. Cocoa yam, cola nuts, and cashew. 8. Ghana, the Gold Coast. With a population of over 30 million inhabitants, Ghana stunned economists as it recorded the fastest GDP growth rate since the COVID-19 pandemic. Outstanding feat, especially as Ghana doesn't seem to want to take its foot off the gas pedal. The Ghanaian agriculture sector employs about 54% of Ghana's total labor force. Agribusiness accounts for a small fraction of the gross domestic product. CNBC Africa estimates it to stand at about 5.8% GDP, with cocoa being a major contributor. Ghana is also working towards valorizing cocoa and cocoa products at home without necessarily having to export them. Big work is being done in the development of cocoa value chains in Ghana. This is a wonderful objective as it could lead to the development of African chocolate factories, brands, and trademarks. Something worthy of the black stars corn, plantains, rice, 
Millet, sorghum, cassava, and yam are the principal crops that are harvested. The Ghanaian agricultural sector depends heavily on the crop sector, not the livestock, forestry, or fishing industries. According to the FAO, Ghana produced the following in 2018. 7.8 million tons of yam, making it the world's second largest producer, second only to Nigeria. 4.1 million tons of plantains, making it the world's second largest producer, just behind Cameroon. 947,000 tons of cocoa, making her the world's second largest producer, behind only the Ivory Coast. 20.8 million tons of cassava making her the fourth largest producer in the world, behind only Nigeria and Thailand. 2.6 million tons of palm oil making her the eighth largest producer in the world. 713,000 tons of pineapple making it the 11th largest producer in the world. 753,000 tons of orange, putting her as the 19th largest producer in the world. Investor tip. Cocoa, coffee, plantain, yam, cassava, and palm oil. 7. Tunisia In on Africa researchers and consultants named Tunisia the continent of Africa's nation with the highest level of food security. The idea of food security is crucial to sustainable development. According to USAID, food security is the ability to always have physical and financial access to enough food to meet one's dietary needs and lead a productive and healthy life. We recognize that many African countries do not achieve this status, primarily as a result of our desperately poor per capita incomes. The ability to obtain nutritious food is essential to human existence. Together with the fact that it exports goods like olives, cereals, dates, and grapes to Europe and the Middle East, the Tunisian economy ensures that its population has access to food, which is an exceptional accomplishment. Tunisia is ranked third in global production of olive oil, according to the FAO, and also ranks 16th for tomato production and 10th for dates globally. Investor tip. Olive oil, tomatoes, and dates. 6. Ethiopia. Approximately 40.5% of Ethiopia's GDP, 81% of exports, and nearly 85% of the labor force are all related to agriculture. Agriculture is a key component of many other economic activities, such as marketing, processing, and exporting agricultural goods. The majority of production is subsistence-based, while the little agricultural catch crop sector accounts for a sizable portion of commodities exports. Coffee, pulses like beans, oil seeds, grains, potatoes, sugarcane, and vegetables are some of the main crops. Nearly all of the exports are agricultural products, with coffee being the main source of foreign exchange earnings and the country's flower sector emerging as a new revenue stream. Ethiopia is the second largest flower exporter in Africa and the sixth largest coffee grower in the world. Additionally, Ethiopia stands out as the nation in Africa with the largest herd size. In fact, Ethiopia's national herd size is so big that if you multiply Chad's herd by two it still won't equal Ethiopia's. Note that Chad has the second largest national herd size. The FAO also reported the following agricultural statistics in Ethiopia. 4.9 million tons of sorghum, making her the fourth largest producer in the world. 1.8 million tons of sweet potato, putting her as the fifth largest producer in the world. 1.3 million tons of yam, making her the fifth largest producer in the world. 515,000 tons of chickpea, the sixth largest producer in the world. 101,000 tons of linseed, the seventh largest producer in the world. 301,000 tons of sesame seed, the seventh largest producer in the world. 172,000 tons of lentils, the 11th largest producer in the world. 2.1 million tons of barley, the 17th largest producer in the world. 7.3 million tons of maize, the 17th largest producer in the world. 374,000 tons of pea, the 20th largest producer in the world. Ethiopia's GDP would have been higher than $94 billion in 2021 if it weren't for the ongoing war there. According to experts at Reuters, Ethiopia's economy would grow by 8.7% in 2022. 
Ethiopia is ranked first among Africa's nations in another research from Land Matrix that ranks the continent's most appealing nations for foreign investors. A fascinating statistic that can lure many investors. Investor tip, coffee, sorghum, aquaculture, beef, and dairy production. If you're enjoying this article, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as it will encourage us to produce more content for you. You could also leave a comment on the state of agriculture in your country and share it with your friends to engage in the conversation. Back to our classification. 5. Kenya Without a doubt, Kenya is probably the most developed economy in the East and Central African zones. The economy of Kenya is a market-based economy with a few state enterprises. It is also an emerging market and an averagely industrialized nation. Kenya is a middle-income nation and plans to be a newly industrialized nation in 2030. Agriculture, forestry, and fishing are part of its major industries. As of 2020, Kenya had the third largest economy in sub-Saharan Africa, coming behind Nigeria and South Africa. As per predictions from the World Bank, Kenya's high rainfall zones are responsible for over 70% of its agricultural produce, but are unfortunately responsible for only 10% of its arable land. Thus, Kenyan agriculture suffers a lot from droughts. Irrespective of this, about half of the total agricultural output is non-marketed subsistence production. Agriculture is the second largest contributor to Kenya's gross domestic product after the service sector. Kenyan agriculture can be proud of its status as the number one exporter of flowers and third largest producer of black tea in the world, losing only to China and India. Agriculture is important for the Kenyan economy as it contributes up to 33% of the country's GDP. This has motivated the vibrant youths of this great African nation to think out of the box and bring about innovative solutions to some of the problems faced by their agro-pastoral sector. A good number of agri-tech unicorns hail from Kenya and command funding that exceeds 40 million US dollars. Talking about pastoralism in Kenya, the Maasai tribe, which numbers about 1.1 million individuals in Kenya, considers themselves custodians of all the world's cattle mandated by God or in Kai. As such, we realize that cattle production in Kenya has deep cultural and spiritual roots. This tribe is also famous for their blood and milk meal. Investor tip. T. Horticulture, agri-tech, and dairy production. 4. Morocco. According to Statista, Morocco has the fifth largest GDP in all of Africa. The Kingdom of Morocco's economy is expected to grow by 3.2% in 2022, reaching 124 billion by 2022, thanks in part to real estate, tourism, and agriculture of course. About 40% of Moroccans are employed in agriculture, which also contributes about 20% of the country's GDP. It is possible to grow barley, wheat, and other grains without irrigation in the rainy regions of the Northeast. Olives, citrus fruits, and wine grapes are grown on the Atlantic coast where there are broad plains, primarily using water from artesian wells. Unlawful hashish is also produced in large quantities in Morocco, with most of it going to Western Europe. In addition to raising livestock, forests produce wood for cabinets and buildings, as well as cork for wine bottles. The Moroccan economy also depends heavily on the sale of fish and shellfish due to the country's 2,500-kilometer-long coastline. Morocco has a sizable aquaculture industry because a portion of the maritime population depends on fishing for a living. Among the significant fishing harbors are those at Agadir, Sal Uira, El Jadida, and Larig. According to the FAO, Morocco achieved astounding amounts of agricultural output in 2018, ranking third in the world behind Spain and Italy in terms of olive production and producing 7.3 million tons of wheat, 2.8 million tons of barley, 1.5 million tons of olives, 1 million tons of oranges, the 15th largest producer in the world. 1.4 million tons of tomatoes, the 15th largest producer in the world. 1.2 million tons of tangerines, fourth greatest producer in the world after China, Spain, and Turkey. 128,000 tons of figs, third largest producer in the world, only behind Turkey and Egypt. 
In addition, Morocco produces a lot of melons, peppers, vines, and argan oil, which have anti-aging qualities. Investor tip. Aquaculture, wine, citruses, and argan oil. 3. Egypt. Egypt completes what is today regarded as the Big Three of Africa. Across a wide range of industries, the Egyptian economy is booming and even now serves as a model for other African countries. Egypt stands out as Africa's biggest cereal producer and is in the top five globally for aquaculture. Egypt is the world's largest producer of dates, the second largest producer of figs, and the third largest producer of onions and eggplants the fourth largest producer of strawberries and buffalo milk, and the fifth largest producer of tomatoes and watermelon, according to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations for 2016. Despite its limited arable land and inconsistent water supplies, Egypt's agricultural sector continues to be among the most productive in the world. This is primarily due to sophisticated irrigation plans. In a nation where the Nile is its sole source of water, irrigation plays a significant role. The Aswan High Dam, which was finished in 1971, is the largest of all irrigation projects. It is incredible that, as a result of that project, 25% of Egypt's arable land was restored from the desert. The Egyptian government also stated that it wanted to increase the agriculture sector's GDP contribution to 12% and increase total agricultural output by 30% by 2024. Enticing statistics and admirable goals. Kofaros. Investor tip. Dates, cereals, aquaculture, and agri-tech. 2. Nigeria. Despite the numerous issues the so-called African giant, Nigeria, has lately overcome, the nation now holds the title of having the largest economy in Africa. With a current value of about $441.5 billion, Nigeria's GDP is not in decline. The agriculture sector has very poor production as a result of its reliance on outdated practices. Nigeria used to export food, but due to agriculture's inability to keep up with the country's rapid population expansion, it now imports a sizable portion of its food supply to meet its needs. However, efforts are being done to restore the nation's food security. Since the COVID-19 epidemic, alternative industries to the oil industry have flourished in Nigeria. These industries have now merged with the agricultural industry, which is experiencing a boom in what is now known as agritech companies. Despite this, Nigeria leads Africa in the production of root and tuber crops, accounting for about 40% of the continent's total output. In addition to their great nutritional content, tubers offer a wide range of uses. For instance, cassava is a crop that may be used to make a variety of goods, including starch, flour, bioethanol, and other goods that are derived from plants. Nigeria, which was once the leader in the production of palm oil, continues to export goods worth roughly $1 million to the U.S., Canada, and UAE since the COVID-19 epidemic. Nigeria's non-oil industries have flourished and incorporated into the country's economy. Nigeria's large population also makes it a prime location for labor in any agricultural endeavor. Ventures for agro-processing are being created in Nigeria. There are numerous food processing facilities established for products including rice, coconut oil, beef, and dairy. The most funding on the continent has reportedly gone to Nigerian agri-tech startups, and this new industry is flourishing tremendously as a result of the tenacity of the youth in Nigeria. The Nigerian agribusiness ecosystem is still quite favorable. Investor tip. Tubers, snails, palm oil, and agri-tech. 1. South Africa. Last but not least, the Republic of South Africa is regarded by many, including trading economics, as the continent's most developed country. South Africa is the continent's second largest economy, with a staggering $418 billion in GDP. Agriculture, fisheries, and forestry industries together added over 130 billion rand to the GDP in 2021.
Very well earned for the nation that has the biggest amount of arable land in Africa. When we compare these numbers to those of 2020, the Rainbow Nation has had a wonderful boost. As of 2020, South Africa produced more than 1 million metric tons of beef and about 1.9 million metric tons of poultry, making it the continent's top meat producer. South Africa is a force to reckon with when it comes to meat production worldwide. According to FAO statistics, South Africa is one of the world's top producers of chicory roots, grapefruit, cereals, and maize. It is also a top producer of castor oil seed, pears, sisal, and fiber crops. Foods like eatable fruit and nuts, beverages, pickled foods, tobacco, cereals, wool, sugar, meat, malt, and starch are among South Africa's most significant agricultural exports. These goods provide a significant contribution to agricultural export earnings. Around 4,300 milk producers make up the dairy sector, which employs 60,000 farm employees and supports the livelihoods of another 40,000 people. The food subsector employs the most people in the agro-processing industry, accounting for 1.4% of all employment and 11.5% of manufacturing employment over the past 10 years. South Africa exports more citrus than any other country in the world. Investor Tip Animal Husbandry, Citrus Fruits, Sugar Cane, and Cannabis In conclusion, Africa is fortunate and blessed. However, more work needs to be done to alter the perception of our dear continent. Before making any investments, it is crucial to conduct a complete background check on each of these nations to prevent financial loss. The agricultural game in Africa is going to change as a result of the steady growth of the agri-tech subsector. Many more Africans need to become involved for this to happen. We can only pronounce Africa free from the pains of hunger, poverty, and food insecurity by working assiduously to alleviate poverty through our rich African soils, which are magnificent resources. All things considered, agriculture has the potential to bring Africans closer to sustainability. Africans must enforce their agricultural sectors and stop importing food from other countries to be self-sufficient. It is estimated most billionaires in Africa will come from the agricultural sector by 2050. We've come to the end of the video. Let us know if this was interesting by liking the video and dropping a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.